What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Alex here, and today I'm going to show you a really great Samsung Galaxy trick to back up all of your data on your phone to an external drive. So if you don't want to back up to the cloud in case you have sensitive information or you just want to keep all of your data local in-house, you can absolutely do that and it's super simple to do. The only thing you're gonna need is an external drive. So I'm using this SanDisk one terabyte drive. I really love these. They're super compact, very light and very quick. So if you want one, go ahead and check it out in the description or the comment below and pick one up for yourself. But to do this, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your phone settings and then scroll down to accounts and backup, tap into here. And then we're gonna see down here, it says external storage transfer. So tap onto here and then you're gonna see it says backup and restore to backup or restore, insert an SD card or connect a USB storage device. So you can see it doesn't detect any uh, storage devices right now because we haven't plugged it in, but all we need to do is take our drive, uh, our external SSD, plug it into the phone and you're going to see that it will automatically pick it up. So there you go. It, you can see now it says that there is a USB storage option here. So now all you need to do is just tap USB storage and it's going to load up the wizard for you to help you back up. So it's going to analyze everything that you have on your phone and now it gives you an option if you want to back up everything on your phone or just phone calls, contacts, or messages, or you can even do a custom backup. If you go into here and then tap next, it will show you all of the applications and everything you have on your phone. And you can go through here and choose what you want to backup. So maybe you don't want all of your apps. You can tap into here, tap this arrow, and you can see all of your apps. You can deselect everything and then just select one by one which apps you want. If you want to backup everything, obviously we're just gonna go back here tap everything. You can see I have 28 gigabytes of data on my phone. So make sure you have an SSD or an external drive that can handle this backup. And also if you back up everything, this will include your secret folder. So if you have your secret folder enabled on your phone and you have pictures or other data in your secret folder, this will get backed up to your SSD as well. So that's really, really nice. So we're just going to tap onto here just for now. And then we're going to tap next. We're gonna tap okay. And now it's going to start backing up all of our data to our external SSD. And again, this is only going to take one minute. I just wanna show you guys how this works. So I don't want this to take too long. So that's why we're doing just a small backup, but we're just gonna wait this out. And then once it's done, we're gonna come back and go to the next step. Also, you can see up here, it says you'll need to be signed in to your Samsung account to decrypt and restore with this backup. So you want to make sure that you have a Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, this won't work because these are encrypted backups. They are secured. Nobody else will have access to them except you, but you need a Samsung account in order to decrypt them and restore this data later. So if you don't have a Samsung account, definitely go ahead and sign up for one. But as you can see, this is now complete. We've backed up 44 megabytes of data. We have all our conversations in our messages and our account contacts. Now we just tap next and it says you're all set. That's it. Our backup is officially complete. We can disconnect our SSD and go on with our day. Now, obviously I just did a small backup, but I would highly recommend that you guys do a full backup of everything on your phone at least once a month at best maybe once a week or once every two weeks because in the case that something happens to your phone or it gets corrupt or wiped or you lose it anything can happen you will have the latest backup you don't want your last backup to be of like six months ago and then you're missing a whole bunch of stuff that you've had since then so definitely go ahead and try to back up at least once a month I would say and now if you ever want to restore your backup so let's say your phone gets wiped or you lose it or you get a new phone and you want to back up all of your data from your old phone to your new phone what you want to do is go back into your settings and then we're going to go to accounts and backups again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to tap external storage and then tap on restore from USB storage. And you can see that I have a few backups in here right now. So this is the one that we just currently did 45 megabytes of data. And then this one on March 12th, I did a full backup of my phone. So you can see there's just under 28 gigabytes of data. But if you want to restore, all you got to do is select either any of your previous backups tap on it and then it will again ask you if you want to back up everything just calls or contacts or messages or a custom backup so this is actually really cool not only can you choose what to back up while you're backing up but you can also choose exactly what you want to restore so maybe you have a full backup but you only want to restore certain things you can go ahead and do that even when you're restoring i think that's really awesome but now what we can do is we're just going to select everything we're going to tap next and now what it's going to do is just start restoring your data so it's going to take that backup that we picked from our ssd and restore it to our phone and it's just going to be a really 
really quick one because again that one was only 45 megabytes if you have a large one like 30 gigabytes like my previous one obviously that one will take a little bit longer but nonetheless you can see right there it says done transferring your data so everything has now been restored from our ssd now we can just go home and you can see we're back to using our phone it is such a seamless and simple way to take local backups of your phone to an external drive without having to use the cloud. I highly suggest if you guys have maybe an SSD or a flash stick laying around, use it. Back up your phone to them because the last thing you want is to lose all of your data. Believe me, it happens. It's happened to me. It's happened to somebody you know, and you don't want to be the one who gets caught with their pants down. So definitely back up your phone. Now, one thing you should keep in mind is that I have a large one terabyte SSD, so I have a lot of space on here. So I can take all the backups I want, but maybe yours only has maybe 100 gigabytes and there's already a lot of photos and videos on there and the storage barely has enough space to get by. What you can do is go back to your settings and then go to accounts and backups again. Then we're going to go to external storage transfer and then tap on restore uh, from your USB. And what you can do is actually delete old backups because if you, let's say I take another full backup in a week from now, I no longer need this backup from May 12 because I have a newer backup. So what you can do is just tap and hold on these, select the ones that you don't want, and then you can delete these backups and that will save you a lot of storage on your storage device. But that's going to do for this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace